My name is Meg Graff. I also serve on the board of directors for the Illinois chapter. I am very pleased to introduce Bob Gebbia today. He has been AFSP CEO since 1998. In that time, he has increased efforts to prevent suicide as well as increasing research, educational programming, public awareness, and advocacy. He has also worked hard on providing support for those who have lost a loved one to suicide. Please join me in welcoming Bob. Well, thank you all for walking today. Was this a great walk or what? Unbelievable. I, what an honor to be invited to walk with you. What a great route. It's, this has got to be one of the most beautiful cities in our country. So I'm pleased to be, yes, I'm pleased to be here in Chicago. And I also want to thank the walk committee. And I also want to acknowledge the, the work that goes on after the walk of our great chapter here in Illinois and all the hard work that goes in to putting on the programs and all of the work that you're raising money for. So thanks to them and to our superstar staff, um, Rochelle and Janice, who was our first area director, now division director, and, and Rochelle, who does a great job. So thank you all. Here, here. And I know it's been said, but this is not only the largest walk this year, this is the largest walk for suicide prevention ever, ever. And why is it important to walk? Why should we do this? Well, you know, there are people who still don't believe we could do anything about suicide. There are people who don't believe it can be prevented. There are people who don't believe that the mental disorders, depression, anxiety, addictions, bipolar illness are even real, or that they can be fatal if they don't get the proper treatment and help. We have to change those attitudes, and that's why we walk. And also to say loud and clear, those who suffer with a mental health problem, with these diseases of the mind, they deserve our understanding and our compassion, and they deserve treatment so they can get well and recover, and suicide isn't the result. <laughs> Yet sadly, one out of five people who need help get it. Only one out of five. If we could just move that up to three out of five, we'd save tens of thousands of lives. And you know, since Robin Williams' tragic death, 4,500 people have died by suicide in our country. It isn't on the front page, it isn't the lead story on the news, but their families and their loved ones and their friends and classmates and coworkers are equally affected. And we have to do better. We lose 40,000 people a year to suicide in our country. And for every suicide, there's 25 suicide attempts. And the pain and suffering is enormous. Our foundation is happy to announce, and I'm, I'm pleased to share with you, that we have adopted a bold goal to reduce suicide by 20% in 10 years, 2025. And we're going to do it with your help and the help of hundreds of thousands of others across the country. We can do this. We can do this. And your walk today is a really great start to that because the research, and, and you've heard it all, the prevention programs, the advocacy work, is fueled by what you're doing and the awareness and education. So I thank you. I hope that you'll consider walking in an overnight walk sometime. I'm happy it's not even public. I'm going to share it with you. Um, we have just agreed to do two overnights this spring, one in Dallas, never been there before, one in Dallas at the end of April, so it won't be too hot, and one back in Boston at the end of June. Uh, if you've never tried it, 18 miles, sundown to sunup. We'll be putting it out on the website in early October. But I wanted to share that with you. It's hot off the press. And what a great way to continue to raise awareness and raise funds. So I thank you for being here today. I thank you for walking for suicide prevention. By working together, we can and we will save lives. Thank you so much. I hope to see you next year. And please get home safely. Thank you.